We're at the American Library Association's annual conference speaking with Donald DeLauder of the Institute of Museum and Library Services. Um, can you tell us what it is you, the Institute does? Well, Tanya, uh, we are the principal source of federal funding for libraries and museums. Um, our, our main uh, business purpose, if you will, is to make grants. Um, we, our single biggest program is the Grants to States program, um, which is uh, funded through the Library Services and Technology Act, which is our basic funding um, mechanism. Um, it's about $160 million a year that gets dispersed to the, the, the 50 states plus Washington, D.C. and the territories. Um, we also offer competitive grant programs for both libraries and museums um, where we fund such things as um, education programs for future librarians and museum professionals. We fund technology initiatives, uh, research uh, and statistics. Um, not, we used to fund bricks and mortar kinds of projects, but our legislation changed some years ago, uh, so we're not in that end of things anymore. Um, we have Native American, Native Hawaiian grant programs as well, to uh, you know, where whereby we uh, provide uh, funding for like those underserved communities. Uh, a lot of tribal libraries that uh, kind of rely on on the funding that we do provide because. The infrastructure, unfortunately, can still be very limited in some of the more remote rural areas. And there was a recent grant of uh, over $1 million to the Native American libraries, correct? Uh, as a whole, yes. Um, I am not exactly sure of the exact number off, off the top of my head, but we do provide uh, funding to, I think, last year, uh, we're currently in a grant cycle right now, uh, so the applications are in and being reviewed. Uh, last year, I think we funded approximately 175 uh, tribal libraries, um, and it's more of a formula-based grant, um, which is like they get at least uh, like five or six thousand uh, dollars, kind of as a base. And then there are also project grants that they can add, you know, uh, if they apply with a specific idea behind a grant proposal, they get money on top of the five or six grand that they got, kind of as a base allotment. So, so yeah, it's going to be more than more than a million dollars for you know the Native American and Native Hawaiian uh, programs. Okay, so is the process that essentially everyone, every library or museum will get a small amount or some d definitive amount, and then any excess is about um, a competitive program or an additional qualification? Well, not exactly. Um, the money that goes to uh, like our biggest program, the Grants to States program, the money goes to uh, individual state library administrative agencies, okay? How the individual states then spend the money is up to the states. Um, a lot of times a state will do subgrants to individual library systems within their state, um, but that's up to them. Not every state does it, uh, especially in the last few years with the, the economy being a bit sour. Uh, some states being harder hit than others. Um, a lot of the money goes, you know, it doesn't actually, it'll go into statewide programs, but it actually doesn't fi necessarily filter down to the local level. Um, the local libraries will benefit from the statewide programs, of course, but they may not get the subgrant, you know, in that specific community. But then libraries can also apply for the competitive grants programs, which we do. Um, they are very competitive, however. Uh, we, I think our funding ratio is probably around 30 percent uh, in terms of the number of uh, applications we actually fund. And um, What are these uh, competitive grants? Oh, um, How do they break down, I guess? Okay. <laughs> um, well, in terms of libraries, uh, it's, I, it's about uh, probably, I think, lately about tw like 20 to 23 million dollars um, a year for the library education aspect of things, where, whereby we provide grants to uh, universities, which then fund the education of individual students. Um, we, we don't make grants to individuals as a federal agency. We make grants to institutions. So um, we spend ab about 20, low $20 million range for um, education programs for 
to recruit high school students into the library profession to get their bachelor's degrees. We fund people who have their bachelor's degrees to get their master's degrees. Uh, we fund leadership programs to bring the master level librarians up to the PhD level, uh, as well as research. Um, so what goes into the decision making process, do you know, as to who wins? Well, uh, all of our grant uh, review process is, it, it's a peer review process. Uh, the employees of the institute itself don't actually make the funding decisions, uh, well our director does. Um, but the, those funding decisions are always based on the recommendations of peer reviewers. We bring people in from all over the country who are in, in the field that you know uh, that sort of governs the the applications you know th that that we receive. So we'll bring in people who who do not have an interest in a specific application um, to uh, you know we you know, for a panel process. Uh, typically two days, ten people here in D.C. Um, we send them the information ahead of time so they can come prepared to talk about the 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 pluses and minuses of every application we receive. Um, you know, through our various programs. They make recommendations uh, for funding, um, and we have the information on which they base their recommendations, and then um, we submit that information. Uh, our program staff, you know, keeps it all. We compile it and submit the funding recommendations of each individual panel to our director, who, who has the, you know, who makes the ultimate decision on what to fund. And, and use and typically follows the recommendations. I mean, that's what the panels are for. So, uh, you know, that's how our process works. So we don't actually make make those decisions ourselves. Um, finally, can you tell us how much, or if at all, your budget has changed in the economic downturn? Uh, we're we're fortunate in that our budget ha is going to remain level. Um, of course, you know, we were concerned. Um, that you know we might have to suffer budget cuts, but uh, the information that I have, at least for now, is that uh, we're probably going to be level funded for uh, for the next couple of years, um, which ple is, it pleases us, you know, that we're not we're not going to have to make cuts because, of course, there's never enough money, you know, to go around. We have uh, you know we have a good staff of about 70 people, so uh, so our overhead is relatively low. Most of the money, you know, about 250 million dollars or so. Um, goes out to uh, museums and libraries um, and we're pleased to say that we're going to be able to maintain that if not actually grow at least for for the short term thank you very much for your time it's my pleasure it was very nice to talk with you